Tibena Batwako Haye and welcome to Mommy Diaries where we talk about all things motherhood. Ka fela ga tseba hore pregnancy most of the time it brings nothing but joy. But sometimes to different people who tla di tsietsi tse leng hore ha ba di expect. On today's show we have Tsakani and Rifilwe. Welcome Tsakani and Rifilwe. Thank you. How are you ladies? We're good. Yeah, good. You know like sometimes I always ask people how are you but very good. Ke batla botse ba tla tse go go tseba nnete are you good? Amazing. Amazing. We are amazing. I'm amazing. Tsakani, I'm good. Are you good? Good, 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 good? Let's talk about motherhood. Yeah. Um have you always wanted to be a mother? Uh, Rifu, I mean you came here with your daughter. Yeah. Um she she looks like you, she looks like <laughs> your younger sister. Have you always wanted to be a mother? Um I have. It's a tricky question that one mm-hmm. because with my first born, um I had her when I was a teenager. I was only 17 when I had her. Yeah. So I won't say I wanted to have her when mm-hmm. I was 17. Yes. It's something that happened a very big blessing still to me. Mm-hmm. Um but Obviously over the ages I definitely look forward to motherhood mm-hmm. and I'm blessed with three beautiful babies mm-hmm. uh, inclusive of a little angel boy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. two girls and one angel boy. Yeah. When I did the intro I was ex- explaining hore sometimes see harle basadi how would the day you find out who pregnant. Obviously that's why baby is great expectations. So expect ile you know that bundle of joy but that experience has ya mangle mang and that's why mm. on today's topic we're talking about grief and loss. Mm. So can you take us to your first pregnancy when you found out that o oh, o milling how did you feel and how did you deal with that loss? Mm. Yo, it's not easy but I'm um, It was on 2015. Okay. Uh, 2014 that's where I found out I'm pregnant. The first born I was 27 years. Yeah. You see what like it go. The right age. Say, yeah. the age you really was like yo you make it. We mm-hmm. are very very proud yeah. of you. It was a first born. Okay. But things turn in another way. Got the 6th of June. Okay. Like yo well I'm one a first born. Okay. After seizure about for some months i think only for one second when i was for one second fella about quiet and the doctors ba munka and ran le ngwana ke sa tsebe ngwana o kae and they understand um barring um manes they will try to hide it they will say no 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 the baby's coming the baby's coming but you could feel coming. the energy but you could feel the energy right there's something, right. something yeah. wrong yeah after that um because it was june it was very cold So banka ba nyisa ko wadini I'm going there without a baby and mm-hmm. it is the first time the worst part I'm alone I didn't have anyone at that time because we mama ko venda na ki mojo back I'm alone at Jobek Jin mm-hmm. banka they put me in the room I went in the room they come with the one aka view with a white blanket bare we are very very sorry the baby didn't make it Um did you say we I didn't even hear what varying mm. on that side because ka ke tswile ke first time I would tsiburu wetsa lang what to do ubuwa le mang or what ki one that time because petlings is whole that's what happened ka first ka first one ba nje so ngwana ha right and it, the worst part ya ngwana o it was so weird where I am always as myself for the doctors why they didn't find out or ngwana o ali so So when I was okay, full time, full time, yeah. nine months, yeah. just to find out who was abnormal. When I was like, as a fella, I was like, when I was like, as a fella, I was like, when I was like, as a back. It was a weird thing, it was like, when I was like, I was like, I was like, which, Did the doctor was understand no re and say by the scan because i get the 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 reason why we go for the for the check up they pick up they pick up all the abnormality and i don't so yakho the scanning that's a crazy thing babo le ngwana le normal babo le ngwana le normal but ngwana a tlaya a tlaile a se shaba it was something so weird yeah mm, it was very very weird mm-hmm. so now my pro, now, uh problem go as as one we one yeah i lost two the miscarriage one so yeah first man ke dilile le yona because i think we're early first born yeah 
motherhood king. Yeah. But everybody yeah. will be saying, We are praying for you. That's what people they were saying yes, to me, yes. which I was happy after I found out what I was doing. You know, you understand that you maybe not a blessing in disguise. Maybe you understand better how mm. after you know that you are not so sharp. Yes, you are not so sharp. That means you can't get to the line. It was going to be hard to deal with what I saw. Yes, yes, yes. After that, I was really happy. But how did you... Um, deal with that obviously like you said you carry it full term and I think that's the most painful thing that mm. uh, I know Horam is courage and uh, Utwala stillborn are not the same mm. because when you carry full term because I remember when I gave birth the first thing you just want to hear that cry mm. that scream mm. and everything else will come mm. after mm. as long as mm. it brings that thing away that's a sort of a my support a rohan how be but because yeah, it's yeah. between life and death 100%. either one of you uh, sometimes both of you don't survive don't make it. sometimes mm-hmm. um one survives and the other in your case one ha has survived but mm-hmm. after that how did you you know care that did you go for counseling what helped you to be like to have that hope yeah yeah i didn't go for counseling my partner because you know Hariba to Baban to on we we're not that thing you are. But over shabu, eh? You will work it out, Kabuwe. Yeah. So that I, I didn't go for counselling. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't go for counselling. Mm. You continually life. Yeah. That's that's what happened. Yeah. And mm. then you got pregnant again. I got pregnant again. The miscarriage after ten weeks. I got pregnant again. This this one girl na inge tayo. Yeah. Who fit is everything. Yeah, oh, one oh, mm-hmm. because when I came with a maid, my basic, I you a gynecologist, kiss guy, kiss it's a my This is the best. Yeah, I even make sure I go private hospital because only that thing you are public, maybe I'm check it on. Yeah, I went to private hospital that time. I don't have a medical aid, mm-hmm. I must pay cash, cash, but thank God, baby daddy. Yeah, yeah, none of medical aid. So then one I fit up. That means someone not going to get medical aid. But how did you treat the pregnancy based on the previous experience? Were you private? I know. Mm. Were you? Because sometimes as black people, how is how sacred pregnancy is? Mm. Right now, what post you? You find out you're pregnant. Hey guys, hey, I want to have a It's it's a whole, a whole get ready with me type of thing. Mm. Where you content there, you know. And I get people are different. Sometimes you're so excited, yeah. you want to share with the world. So there's since you know, Hore, those two experiences that you went through. We lay wa wa ifila. Okay, ifila lewa kubola lewa na ruba doto o shootam doto Friday. Na shootam. How do you say your name? I am ready to take the last page. Yes, even though. Yes. Kagi Heidi, the pregnancy like Heidi, let's say, Kagi Heidi. Even Kagi Heidi is a female. I had a baby shower. No, I didn't yeah. do a baby shower. Yeah. Even at work, I don't know. I don't want a baby shower. Yeah. There was thick, and the pregnancy that we were not happy, it was smooth. It went. Smooth. There was nothing no wrong with my pregnancy. Yeah. There was nothing wrong. But I read the seventh of March. Mm. So, my world, yeah, I get TV, man. I get TV. We rise along. I gave birth. It was early in the morning, at six. Hospital, Collins Field. Yeah. When I at work, when I told her I normal child, a baby girl, so I didn't normal all. But I know I remiss a good job because Baba no breathe, I breathe right. Because I don't hope because okay, we will all. Yeah. But after three days, after three days, I read a mess. After things change. I phone all of you. Wana breathe. On a muscle Yeah. Yeah. I call you. Why are we baby saying those things? You're not twelve. I'm not against the Yeah, yeah. Wana breathe. It's like a special. That time, but but let's the best doctor. Why was it? But the best Indian doctor. What kind? But this is the end. She was the best. But wana ha breathe. But wana ha ji. Wana ha holy. From nowhere. Twenty is like one week. After that. Uh, the next week, I think it was on Sunday morning. I was to move on. So I phone her. Come around past one more. After I phone her, we need you at the hospital right now. It's emergency. 
So, yeah, kwa lini au ni mmewa ifila man that thing we kwa mu or I man there's something wrong that is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, within one minute ribat bai nga pila they call again the same where is the mother? Papa ngwana a ri she see ever no. So la go nk. We need to tell you something. I knew it. I knew it for no man. It pinned it into hell. It a little down again. Mpo a bu ya ko ntlung. Ara ke dule fatse ka ra mme bona sit down. Ngwana o tlhokofetse ne? A ri tsakana ngwana o tlhokofetse. It was like it was so hectic o o kire o rinwana o wa bona le hope yo re o tlo ba le yena bo phile ngoba hawo o mo bona ngwana o philile like nothing went wrong a one week fela ngwana a bo rwa tsa mang everyone network they were at the hospital they were there for me like it's it's a so hectic it like what's up again into your talk for like one like you usually the motto you want yeah even the guy like some more to give us under one a key we shall move to lay one yeah yeah well like a more ready full time in nothing wrong nothing happened come on all yeah but things change go one week you know those things when that is all the day it's all like a thing you know i even tell god you know what god I'm not gonna I'm not longer gonna pray. Worry I gave you a ribbon, never go high by any. Past sixteen years, they can carry a baby but not deliver. I wanna be tired. And I cannot go. Maybe but make a mistake. Give mistake for banana. But now I can afford to have a child. To have a child. I want a child. I know we go full on one. I ask go long since thing. I go like with you have a house, you have a car, you have everything, but you wanna walk back. Did you ever blame yourself or feel like there's something wrong with you? Sometimes I do. Yeah. Sometimes I blame myself for Kiri. You know what? Maybe if maybe if like sa pinda. Yeah. I was not going to go through this pain because nobody knows but one point I start to do that hair. Nobody knows when I go back to the house what I did. What is happening every day? Yeah. I cry but yeah. People bam pizza the baby shower in. Sometimes I'm scared to disappoint them. I need to go because they are my friends. When I come back to the house, I cry every day. Now when I'm telling you, I'm leaving Kadi Pills so that I can sleep. sleep. I enjoy uba merikong than to be at home yeah. because exactly I get hara kiyold. I get to see picture here now. Kibona here now. I get drive. I get fit. I go to link. Kibona me aduze abega alingwa na my question for God. Why? Why? Usa blessi mutu atla kono kera ngwana o. Why usa mfi ngwana? Even oi wan. Yeah. Oi wan. Uraiti. Yeah. Kibi yega mwana wanyano mwe. Kwa mabwe ni haraiti kwa keli lon. She was pregnant. I leave people kwa mabwe ni I went home because bila kaya iti urmuri mu why? Yeah. Why na? Yeah. Kwa ziba liko mberu kwa vana haba fika wa fika la mazo ngak. Yeah. Every child. Haba fika mberu kwa mba fika la kwa na mara. Now to carry a child, I can't. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Because even now I'm scared. We're going to get pregnant again. Where am I going to start? We're going to get one or two, three. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not a journey. It's yeah. They will talk of working one. It's very bad. People want to run out here. Come on. They think like we are happy. They don't know. Who hard? It's very hard. Yeah. It's very very hard. Yeah. I feel like um how I came to know about you obviously um you know uh, whatever you search on social media um the algorithm will take you to um what like most of the time I search about babies because mm. of the show or I'd search about dogs because I love dogs but I came up across your post but I didn't there was part 1 and part 2 I think I I just saw part 2 where yeah. you were sharing with the world that you felt it i think you dreamt about your child's death or you mm -hmm. felt it um for someone who hasn't seen your videos take us through the same way that kind of took us at took us through her her experience and and journey yeah losing the child okay so for me it was on the 21st of july um i was at work 
Nikita was at work, I usually leave for work in the morning around four. Yeah. At the time, my son was around three and a half months. Also perfectly healthy. My son has never gotten sick. I carried full term, healthy pregnancy. Uh, up until I went to Linda, I had anxiety of giving birth in a public hospital. Mm-hmm. I didn't have medical aid. So I gave birth. I made sure you save up I pulled it. the stops and give birth at a private uh, institution. People chipped. My sister helped me, mm-hmm. you know. Gave birth there. Um, baby was fine. I remember even the day I gave birth, Heba uh, Montare, the guy named Montare, because my mom was there. Mm-hmm. Um, it was C section. The guy named Montare, you've got a healthy 3.8 kg baby boy. Mm. No problems, no breathing problems. You went home with your baby. I went home with my son. Three mm. days later, no, no, nothing. Mm. Nothing like that. Three days later, after the C-section, as per normal, we left. We went home. Came six weeks. We took him for his six weeks. Got the injections he needed at the six weeks um, immunization. Came back home. Yeah. Three and a half months later. I go to work. I leave at four and I usually come back at around quarter to seven to fetch my girls and take them to school. So on that day, um, I came back around two seven in the morning to fetch my girls and I was actually late um, only to find he was awake. So he was with the girls because mm-hmm. when the girls came out the house, I didn't even get inside the house. I stayed in the car mm-hmm. and I just left the car idling. I stepped out the car and I started screaming for my girls. Get a girl, let's go. It's late. So I could see them saying, bye, Muzi, bye, Muzi. You know, and he was laughing according to mm-hmm. what the reports. Mm-hmm. That was around seven, right? Mm-hmm. I take my girls. I take them to school. The girls are your kids. The girls okay. are my kids. Sorry, yeah. yes, my two daughters. Yeah. Drop them off at school and where do I go? Back to work, right? Um, my son is with the nanny. Right. Um, I go back to work and I don't know, for some reason on that day, I was so happy. I was, I've never been that happy in my life. I was playing music in my car, like top volume. Mm-hmm. From dropping the girls off at school to going back to work. I remember even on my way back to work, my little brother called me saying he's stuck Hannah Petrol, you know? And I'm like, okay, he needs money. I'm like, okay, I'll stop stop somewhere. Because driver, I'll stop somewhere and then send you the money. And I immediately stopped mm-hmm. after the call with him and I sent him the money from there. I went back to work. Got to work when I got there, a friend of mine called saying they load shedding. So she's asking to come and work in my shop. I, I run a business, mm. um, by the way. So um, I said to her, okay, no, cool, you can come through. So my friend comes. That was, at the time, that was around 9 o'clock. Mm. My friend comes and the staff, they're busy prepping, you know, meals. We dispatch meals at around half past 11. At around past 10 to 11, one of the guys in the kitchen are like, we are short something, like grocery stuff. Mm. Can you go get us what we are short? And I'm like, okay, cool. I drive to Jekyll Creek Corner, just a shopping center nearby where I live. And I go get what they need. After getting the stuff, that was around, I think it was around 11 o'clock mm. at the time now. I get what they need and I'm driving out of the shopping center. As I'm driving out, remember I live next door to the shopping center, mm. ne? As I'm driving out, I'm by the boom gate, ne? I hear my nanny's calling. So she's calling, simultaneously sending the WhatsApp. She's doing all at the That's same okay. time. WhatsApp's calls. Now I don't know what yeah. to respond to. Can I tell you, I only listened to auntie's WhatsApp now recently. And when I opened it, he was saying, mommy, mommy, come back. Child is not breathing. I only listened to it now recently. Anyway, I decide to answer the call. And when I answer, she's like, I could hear her. She's gasping for ear for for a yeah, sorry yeah. and she's like mommy please come home Umuzi mm. i can't tell you what was happening to me at that moment i'm like auntie what are you saying it's like the child is not waking up come home and in the background i can hear her saying muzi muzi trying to wake him up muzi muzi vuga i don't know guys i don't know i froze in the middle of nowhere. I froze because I already knew that there's just no way. 
why are you because my thing is okay if it's something that's not too big then he should wake up you know yeah, if yeah. maybe he's he's having problems that king kana when also with some bottle a like a colleague or colleague yeah. yeah if it's co- if it's a colleague issue it's then it shouldn't yeah it shouldn't stop him from, from waking breathing, up yeah. or from breathing yeah. you know and i'm like okay auntie i'm making a detour i'm coming home i hang up the phone and i drive home i'm speeding home i call a first call my clients and i'm telling them no deliveries today i call the kitchen i tell them stop whatever you're doing we're not doing anything today and i tell them i need to rush home i have an emergency i get home when i get to the gate i take one of the ladies at the security and i'm like i need somebody to go with me cuz i couldn't drive i was shaking how i got home you i don't know. even know um the security lady jumps in the car and i'm like tell the guys to call the ambulance in the meantime yeah i speed home and when i get home um the lady the security jumps out and she runs up to the house i stay in the car idling and but i'm screaming auntie's name auntie twayang like come let's go let's go to the hospital Eventually I jumped out of the car cuz they were taking time. That time the security was really gone up to the house and I stood um getting on the first floor. So I stood downstairs looking over at my door. So I'm be, I'm panicking, I'm crying, I'm praying, I'm doing all of these things and I turned. So I turned um opposite my house direction. So my my back was facing the house. Yeah. And immediately when I heard auntie open the door, when I heard the door open that they coming out, I turned. Ne? I can tell you that picture will never yeah. I'll never forget what I saw that day. Auntie came out the house and she was holding my son like this. See, not like this. No. Not like this. No, like, like this the like this. Yes, yeah. He is slanting. You know, I felt something in my tummy drop. I fainted because I saw that and I fainted. Poshia comes, Poshia is trying to wake me up. Neighbors Bazwa, they're trying to help me up because I now need to drive this child to the hospital. I eventually gather my strength, get in the car, I speed. You know Jackal Creek has bumps. Yes, and in Potokomo Fira Fira. Yeah. I I don't know how I even got over those bumps. I sped to the hospital, got to the hospital emergency room, Galeta Bell. Parked there, I'm Galeta Bell. The nurses and the doctors came out running, Auntie was holding my son. And on the way to the hospital, Auntie was like trying to kill me. And I kept on saying, "Auntie, pray for my son. Yes. Rapela, Do something. Pray. That's yeah. in the car. Can yeah. I go ayo? I'm trying to make calls to my yes. parents, yes. uh my partner, my sister, everyone. At the time Muzi's dad, my son's dad is on the way to Limpopo. So now he they were actually stuck. Kolo ya bona isa tsamai for some reason. Ni tuba. What's about tuba ke? Ni tshuka ba ka ka suta ba ya tuba like when you're about to hear bad news in our culture like what like something will just go wrong and it's a sign yeah or it's a sign yes go quite hard like go hard yes so when i called him ke ke mo phone tse ba stakile somewhere on the road to limpopo immediately after ke mo mulela ke mara we have an emergency and this one needs you to come back go lo ya start ya bone with his colleagues wow so they drove back we okay got to the hospital the doctors but I wanna heba monka uh they ask us what happened and i tell the doctor i was not there i was at work and to call me saying the doctor the child is not breathing he's not waking up he took his normal nap and never woke up from the nap they take the child and they go into the the room yeah I, I don't know what room that is but they go into the room with the child all the doctors quite a lot of them mm-hmm. they go inside that room with my son and I'm they trying to make calls I'm with auntie and they put us actually in a comfort room there's a room in the hospital yes. called a comfort comfort yes. room so that is a comfort room and they tell us to wait in there and ke amo sheba le auntie ka bona auntie is wearing one shoe get auntie do you realize how you wearing one shoe wa bona 
and I, I told her I left the house like yeah. that. So she was in panic. Yeah. So she left the house with one shoe. And we were sitting in that room and we said, Napasek, we said, we said, I think for a good 30 minutes, and in the interim, there's a baby in the, in the hospital. Crying. No, no, no. There's a baby, my baby, that came in. In that 30 minutes that I'm sitting, there's no sound. It's silent, silent, silent. Just the way I came in. Nothing is happening. Who did he make? Little dog. Who did he make? I mean, if we're sitting, if I'm in this room and there's another room there, right? There's a door. I can obviously hear people from the other room. Yeah. But at that time, there was absolute silence. Um, 30 minutes later, they come back to the room. They come back to me and auntie. And the, the, my son's doctor comes in. Um... After her comes in another doctor. After the second doctor, third doctor, fourth doctor, nurse number one, nurse number two, and then I knew, because I think now we were there were about eight herbal ladies, the doctor, the nurse, yeah, in that room, and <laughs> yeah, ne? and had another doctor, ki one one sheba. I'm sitting like this and she looks at me and without her even saying anything, I could already see from her eyes. That's when I said to her, doctor, where's my son? You know, she looked at me and she's like... Hmm. She just looked at me and she's like, hmm. and then she starts explaining, what you know, your son came in and he was already unresponsive, mommy. He was already unresponsive. We tried this. my son the previous night and I was feeding him and we were playing and he was laughing and I remember I said to him oh Wanaka I never get to spend time with you because I'm so busy at work but I promise you that was on a Thursday night I said to him I promise you tomorrow night it's me and you I'm even sleeping with you you're not gonna sleep in your crib didn't happen it didn't happen it didn't happen yeah doctors follow protocol and they explained to me that this, my son was unresponsive when he came um they checked they checked everything whether he maybe choked on something Somehow. they can't see anything whether he like they they, they didn't find anything so there's no, there was no cause, like that. There was no, you know, at, like you the, said, at that moment, moment yeah. no, they didn't, they didn't find anything. They didn't see anything wrong. They didn't find anything that might have caused my son to perish. So until or the son took a nap and yes, he took he took a nap, and then the doctor then says to me, um, they suspect it's um, sudden infant death. What I don't know what, what sudden that? infant death is. I don't know. And I tell her, and I'm like, doctor, I don't know what that is. I don't know. And then she explains medical terms, you know. You know, it happens when infants sleep, they forget to breathe. Apparently babies forget to breathe. Yeah, I've, I've seen it on um, thing on TikTok where it happened while the child was in the mom's arms. Mm. And when I have... And then like it's a video where the child was like, and the, the child was in the, it didn't happen in the child's sleep. So because sometimes they play, mm. sometimes mm. 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 and then yeah, but 
they didn't breathe. So I, I've read about what you're talking about and I've seen it on a video where the mother was shaking the child um, from a nanny cam. It was not even from a phone or any less content. It was a, 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 a footage from a nanny cam where this woman was trying to, and then the child eventually started breathing. But these things, obviously, we don't know of them. I don't know of them. We don't know of them. We don't know. And it's rare as well. And it's, it's, very, it's one of those things are one out of ten type it's of very situations. Rare. Yeah. You know, the African me is like, of course. No. There's something. No. There's no such thing. Yeah. There's no such thing. Yeah. Mm. Where was SIDS? Kanakota Boma Maroon. Yeah. Where was it? Yeah. And especially about what the way the child forget to breathe. Mm. Uh-uh. Mm. Like it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You know, after they bury, confirm death. The confirmation, yeah. You know, and I, I always say, if you were at that hospital on that day, you went to your house, you went back to your house on that very day, and told the story, Hori, I saw a mad woman for the first time today because I literally went mad. I remember, I hmm. remember, how? How? For me to even, when the doctor said, please go see him, I, yo, I, have power. I couldn't. You can't have power to, can to see your child. No. Because what is it? What is this that I'm going to see? And like, like, it's different than to see a tiny mm-hmm. little person. Wahahu. Wahahu. Emphasis on that. Wahahu. You know, I went and I found my son lying there. My son was very chubby. And then the, the way. The way. Gari, gari. No. Luckily, not so bad. Obviously, like yeah. cold, cold. You know, just normal room temperature, and I, I give me, so give me observe every little, everything. Meanwhile, give me check, give me check, nothing. Give me like check all his nails. Um, you know, but um, Manala Abana are very dainty, like very yes, yes. thin, thin, thin. Yeah, thin, so yeah. leha aka i a scratch like this lea robe. Yes, yes. So give me grey la na la robe he le nyana kero wana ke kisho na jiga arobe te. Um, the doctor then continues to say, um, because this is uh, what happened, child came in and they were, there was nothing wrong with the child. They have to follow um, hospital protocol um, and Milao Yamo essay that they have to open a case of inquest. Um, again, that's something new to me. I've never heard of inquest. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if somebody's going to get arrested, yeah. you know. But then she she then continues to explain, Horno, um, we're not blaming anyone. We're not saying anyone did it. Yeah. We're just saying because the child was completely healthy and there was nothing wrong with him and he died suddenly, we have to open a case of inquest. The police will come and explain what it is. Oh, and where is the nanny... She's I can there. only imagine how she's there. She's feeling. She's there. She's there. Um, but you could see she's she's panicking. And another thing that people um, are not aware of, my nanny wasn't there for long. My nanny only started working for me at the 7th of July. At the 7th of July. I have so many questions, but I also don't want to go against God. My sister has this thing. She always says, "You know, about a lawyer or about it's doing these snacks." Yeah, it's not you they're fighting, Basi. It's not you they're fighting, Zakani. Valwale, Limudi, Valwale, Limudi. Yeah, because we want to make it. We want to make it. Yeah, yeah. He valwale na, ha valwale, ha valwale na. Bona mi tar valwale na. No, valwale. And I mean, who are they gonna? Who's gonna defeat who? Who is gonna defeat who? Yeah. Anyway, the police come. When the police arrive, we're still at the hospital. When the police arrive, they open a, a, a docket a file, yeah. whatever it's called, and they um, give an auntie an opportunity to give, give her statement. statement. Not a long one. It was very brief, you know. And at that point now, I'm starting to arrange everything for my son's funeral. 
I now need to step into uh, mother shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Forget Hore, I just lost my son. Forget everything. I now need to one go get the girls from school. Yeah. I need to call people. You know, and uh, getting my daughters from school now, I need to get them. They're going to ask me, why are you fetching us so early? What's, What's happening? happening? I now need to break, break it down news. to them. Mm. I now need to break it down to them. So I leave the police um, at the hospital with my son. And I go fetch the girls from school. And I remember I picked up, picked up Dominique first, my first one. Mm-hmm. Picked her up first. And she asked me, why are you What's fetching wrong? me? Yeah. Why this early? And I mean, I'm sure she could tell. Yeah, already, you were not okay. You know? And I said, it's Mozi. You know, and she was already starting to cry. You know, because I'm sure Lena in her head, she's thinking, if you come in to pick me up from school this, and you yeah. look like this, then it's it's, it's big. big. Yeah. So she already started crying. She got in the car, fished the little one, um, and we went back to the hospital. And when we got there, that's when I broke the news to them. Mm. Um... The dad also eventually arrived with a friend. And, you know, they they say men are strong, ne? Mm. but they're not stronger than us. No. I saw that on mm. that day. Mm. Till today, he still cries ev- almost every night. Almost every night. I found myself having to comfort my daughters yes. and him. Yeah. There was a point where the police were like, it's time to go. About three in the afternoon. Because it was hard for us to mm-hmm. leave. It was very hard for us to leave. And he was holding one high so He was holding his son like this. I do say, well, another rocking chair. The rocking chair, yeah. Mm, I'm going to I'm a little so chest to chest. And he was sobbing, like, uncontrollably. At that point, I didn't know what to do, my basic. I, I didn't know what to do. The girls are also a mess. Uh, luckily, the hospital had a, I think it was a counselor, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, she came in briefly and spoke to them. And the dad was like, he's going to wake up, I have hope. You know, because Hamutweri, he kept Arab Ela. Abu Alena. But nothing was happening. And then... um. The relationship between you and the nanny now, how is it to do? It, like, I'm only imagining, <laughs> it's like right now, if something bad would happen to someone's child mm-hmm. under my care, it the, would be... Yeah, no. Um, you know what I mean? Totally. It would, it's a different kind of pain. Totally, totally. The nanny um, is not there anymore. Yeah. She left. She left a week after we buried my son. You didn't fire her? No. Hmm. She didn't tell me. Your help is going away on a weekend off. She doesn't come back. And then Otohela, one item of clothes. What my is that? Otohela, one item of clothes or whatever. Hmm. So, my son, we buried my son. I get my son passed away on a Friday, right? Yeah. The 21st, we buried him the following Friday. Yeah. Um, we went back home where I'm from in Rustenburg as a family to bury him mm-hmm. with the nanny, right? Yeah. I get I want to answer the nanny part. Yeah. We went with the nanny, buried my son, came back to Joburg. We drove back the very same night we buried, the very same day. day yeah. We drove back later, back to Joburg. Uh, sharp, the weekend goes. The following weekend, which was now the third Friday since my son passed, mm-hmm. auntie's like, can I take my weekend off, madam? It's been... Yeah. Get off course. We understand, yeah. Get off course. Even like, don't come back on Sunday. Yeah. Come back Monday. Monday. I want... Mm. About, okay, no problem, Sharp. That was on Thursday that we discussing her weekend off. Mm-hmm. Friday, um, I go to work. I come back. Vela, she's already packed and she's ready to go. I want, cool. We take her to the taxi. I'm a cab. But before I am going to the I'm going to go back. But the bag was big. Mm. The bag was very big. So I tell my partner, Gary, do you think she's coming back? Hey. And then he's like, hey, babe, I don't know. Hey. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
Muteste, Mutenaka de Lenta, Hounds of Rotori. She gets in the car, get your auntie. Where you going, a beggar and a gun or how we get anti Tabaton Hosa or when you were That's how I was taking one and get anti Tabaton Hosa Hosa boy. Tell me, yeah, like we really understand. And now it became serious, yeah. Guys are in play mode, Gabasiras Lent, get auntie. If you're not going to come back, please tell me. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say no, stay because the child died. Yes. We need answers. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm not looking for answers from you for now. But if you are not planning on coming back, please just tell, tell us. us. Yeah. You know? No, I'm coming back. Mm. I'm coming back. Okay, when you're coming back, I'll send the girl auntie, come back on Monday. The girls are not here. Come back on Monday. We agree. She comes back on Monday. Okay? Mm. Monday comes and this quiet. Around four, Gamma Funel. Oh, Mukai, where am I picking you up? She's from Tembisa. Mm. So I'm assuming she'd come from Tembisa to North Riding, right, somewhere yeah. in the Jamolata, right? Mm. Auntie, where are you? Even like I'm a cafe when I get first. Mm. She doesn't answer. I think I gave Auntie 10 missed calls that day. No answer. Mm. She responds, Ka WhatsApp. Hi, uh, Mama. I couldn't come back today because my son is sick, and I had to take him somewhere where you must check. Oh, okay. Same breath. She's not saying my son is sick. I took him somewhere, yeah. but I'll come on Wednesday, or I'll come on Friday, it or I'll come next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she just said my son is sick. I'm taking him somewhere. Give back him matter tooth. That's all she said. Karozi. Mm. It's only been a week since my son died. I don't want to deal with this. Yeah. I didn't respond. I kept quiet. I didn't respond. And I think the following day, Gamma sent Lao WhatsApp, Get aunt, are you coming back? Hang up. Till today. Till today. It's 2024. Haven't heard a word from her. I've never fought with auntie. Also, auntie has never been with us for that long. To that extent, I'm also always at work. I'm never home. She was always with my son and the girls. Mm. So I cannot say um, maybe auntie left because... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what society always says, we treat helpers. I yeah. personally, well, she can speak for herself, but I personally, I don't think I gave her that kind of treatment. Mm. My helpers in the house are just like family. Mm. 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 I just like family. I don't deprive helpers of anything. But it also says a lot about the type of person you are. Because think about it. In in other... It's human nature to always find blame. We... we yes. How something... Mm. You, you, you have to blame someone. Someone must be... You know what I mean? It's yes. not like it's a, it's a car... Even like a car accident day. My mom might blame Tagani. Mm. It's, mm. it's human nature to mm. this didn't happen. Mm. I'm just saying, it says a lot about the type of person you and in your heart, especially men. Because mm. men would have want, you would have demanded answers and said, I don't want this woman to work for us. That my child died in the care. Of Eventually he did. Oh, okay. Okay. Eventually he did. So I think a week later, after her silence, I stopped talking to her. Yeah. Um, and remember now, it's a, it's a case. Right, so I have to now report back to the detective who's handling the private the investigator, yes. who's handling my son's case. I call him and I tell him this is what's happening. Uh, I'm not saying auntie, but this is what's happening. Auntie left. Naya weekend off on. She didn't come back. Yeah. Well, and then the investigator is like, this raises huge suspicions. But please do not ask her anything. Do not. Oskamo, you're gonna make her run away. Yeah. We need her back. Hmm. But she she still didn't come back. Yeah. She still didn't come back. Mm. The following week, after all of that, after her silence, the dad is like, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. I'm a full nail. Obviously, he went wild, my phone, yeah. or you can't do that. He didn't blame her. Yeah. Because I was there, I was listening to him. He didn't blame her. But he was like, he was telling her where to get off, or you don't do that. Not after what happened. Mm. Not after what happened. What are you expecting us to think? What are you expecting us to think? Leaving um, without announcing that you're not coming back. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. But leaving like that, especially yeah. because we asked you. So we gave you the opportunity. We to gave you the yes. platform to say, yes. am I coming back? Yeah. Yes or no. no. But yeah. still you lied. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we supposed to, to think? think? Yeah. 
no, Baba Missy, I go and And then all I remember is I remember him telling him, Unga is Ganjalo, aunt. Don't do that. I drop a phone. Till today. Till today. Till today, Auntie never came never back. Came back. I'm not going to blame her, my basic. Yeah. Mm-mm. You know, I was not there on that day my son perished. I was not there. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Auntie knows. Auntie knows. Yeah. She was there. Yeah. I don't know anything. Yeah. So I'm not about to point fingers at all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know? And if it's not Auntie, Kidunta, Talifati, Abatu. Mudimu knows. I'm not God. Now, as like you were mentioning, as you know, as black people, when we go through experiences, especially when it's like, because it didn't happen once, it happened twice, it happened the third time. Do you ever get to the point, like you were saying, we are Africans and we know who we are to Mm. Whether you believe it or not, there's dark mm. spirits out there, and then there's, there's there's things like that. Have you ever got to a point where you thought maybe it's that, or um, you just felt or well, maybe na, I I don't have garing popelo yaka high strong enough. Yes, and it, 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 it's not even about popelo because you know, you you carried your kids full term. It was just mm. one miscarriage. Mm. Have you ever felt like eone into zava chowatswe? Every day. If you are known to take into a mood because you are young, one for nine months, but I won't eat anything. One heart, I won't let things change. Woman, mm. 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 I always think, even though that's what you said to me, but you know, there's but I don't know if you know the saying, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying it to you because that's exactly what's happening, and get mm. what has been happening. Mm. Some things we take lightly or we take them as jokes. Like about moto abu or oto bayima. Agas babon. Oto bayima. Agas babon. Oto rato. Agas mon. And you know the tricky part is I'm I'm very fascinated. Ka seetu. I think if you get the way you put things, then ka seetu. They trying to understand how things have changed now. Like I said previously, Hori. Ka seetu. How limiting! You're not supposed to. Why did our parents force us to keep it? To keep it. Exactly. But you know, pregnancy, Leone, you can't hide it. Like you have to go to work. You, you, exactly. you can't hide it. But like sometimes when you go back, but so they knew exactly what they meant. I remember when my older sister was pregnant. My mom even gave her like a, you know, like a cloth because mm. I told her they can measure how far you are yes, by like looking at your tummy. Mm. So back in the days, they would give you like something like a light cloth to cover the shape and how your tummy is, so that nobody mm. can even tell the gender, it, the gender, mm. yeah, mm. on how far you are. I also believe that because of things have changed and you know, and Rabu and whatnot, sometimes also those things do contribute to people about mm. having those conversations. Yes. That, mm. But at the same time, if you hadn't went through the experiences that you went through, you wouldn't be. And I know sometimes it feels like, oh, you're just motivating me because when you went through what I went through. Mm. But sometimes I believe that, like you're saying, she's always laughing. But deep down, and Linda, sometimes I forget. Mm. And, and not, not because I'm being insensitive. It's just mm. that sometimes as people, we we forget how what people go through every day. Mm. And then now I'll be sitting with like, I was feeling thinking that not knowing that that's what she's longing for. Mm. And that's what she wants. And especially in workplaces. Because we say our true feelings, mm-hmm. and people can be so insensitive, Hello. but you still go to work, Zagani, with that smile every day. I don't know how you feel about about it now. Or do you do you think you want to try and have kids? Would you opt for adoption? Are you still hopeful? Like in terms of your mind and emotions, where are you? Yo, for now you get hard. I'm so mm-hmm. scared to be pregnant. I'm so scared. Yeah, and uh, whatever. <laughs> Or adopt as a black person as well as not unless if you're staying in suburbs, I think it's easy <laughs> because I 
I um I don't see that. Like, I think if I'm gonna change and date a white person, so <laughs> <what I mean. laughs> but for now, I need to have a young two. Yeah, I don't think I will do it. Yeah. If I'm still dating a black man, a black man, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for pregnancy, on I don't know because let me know guys, my my sister. Yeah, I'm old. Just come back and tell I'm old. I'm I'm older than you. Just want to say. Two years. Okay, let's not debate about that. Two years. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. It's a big yeah. decision that I need yeah. to make. Yeah. Limo to all. Yeah. Rufila, would you have more kids or? Absolutely. Right. I was scared. Yeah. Um. Because my mom, my mom and my aunt, Rachadiak. Hmm. Um. Actually, that line. I never used to be comfortable with it when people say you'll have another one. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, like I'm not in the business mm-hmm. business of replacing, making yeah. and replacing because yeah. you can never replace a soul. Yeah, you know, like I know all the kids you've lost, you can't replace all the one to all. You can't mm-hmm. replace, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but so yeah, I was good in the beginning, but now, yeah, yeah, I think I think uh, I, I can try. Yeah. Let's say there's a mom out there because I call them moms. People think just because when now you, your kids have passed on, you're not a mom. You mm. you are a mom. Mm. For a mother out there who has went through, um, loss, um, what advice would you give to them? Like what would you say to them? Or what you know, um, the reason why I invited you guys not to sit here because give us that content. It's just that I know I know people around me who have went through the same experiences. And I just feel like most of the podcast that has to do with motherhood, it's always the joy that side mm. of it, and not the the, the challenges and the downside of it. Any advice, Zaki, or any motivation, Kapa, ukare mo bone about what they're going through? No, what I can say, Kapa, na negori, allow yourself to grieve, mm. and uska foster udula place in ubono raubate. We understand, like we feel raubate mo every time we na we feel we were given. That's why when the papa told her, not only na na ke dula ke le one too much go kontlong. Watse ba le wena ka di weekend ke afona. Wa u fona ke re ke one kontlong because ke bona ka ri batho. But of course batho ba le ba. Ntho ele sana le wena le one. Yo re wena biwa wa tlokofela ke mwana. People they forgot because ba ba move on with their lives. Mm. And when also le le one go ba tlokofela. So ntho e ka go one ke re. No man allow yourself to grieve. Mm. Wala we ba tu ba 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 kono fama atole au Philip ona ba sa ujaji yo because ukan kira kilo lawa ha ukan lela ntuwa haleso ba ba ti ba 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 ibu ba ba ukan lela ntuwa haleso ba twenty fifteen they don't know twenty fifteen or idula incha every day in your heart so na lu 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 ya kilo na ntuwa udume lo udula ba tu ba ujaji if ukan lela o di kira le ba tu ba uban o ba urata mo pilum. It's okay, but you want to have a judge because you turn on your energy. It's like, oh, I'm not looking for a lot of attention. Why? Yes, they're hey. gonna say that. Hey. They are looking for attention. They are looking more for the celebrity. Eh, yeah. As one about all, I'm going to be running around talking about what I'm doing. Hale, hale, hale. You know, I would say we're going to Yeah, yeah. I feel like when any advice, um, I know you have your own events about you know mothers who have gone through what you went through mm. they come together and mm. yeah so so that we we've just started that um but i'm going to echo what takane said hore you need to allow yourself time to grieve um and don't hide away from the the feeling the emotions yeah <laughs> when it's time to cry it doesn't mm. matter how you cry hysterically or scatterball whether you scream you know don't 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 bottle your emotions mm. don't bottle your feelings mm. and talk yeah mm. talk you know for me i never got counseling can i tell you something weird tiktok mm. helped me mm, that's true I came across so many women across the globe, not South Africa, in t- like everywhere, mm. that have lost children. Mm. Some are even in worse situations than Takani and I. Mm. And I said to myself, and God, 
forgive me. Yeah. Sometimes let me let me not cry too much. Mm. You know, but it's exactly that. Talk and don't bottle your feelings. Yeah. Don't bottle your feelings. Also, what Takani said, your circle. Yeah. Choose your circle carefully. Yeah. Be around people who wanna be around you. Yeah. Be around people. How ring how work and wanna how we died five years ago. They can still sit back yeah. 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 comfort. Not bow bad on how she's still there. Yeah. Why not talk of Yeah. What do you miss about a two month old baby? Mm. What memories did they leave? Because the in that two months now pillar of it's okay. Like, you know? Yeah. Some people are insensitive like that. Yeah. So yeah. it's exactly that. And on the events, um, so what I've started or rather initiated is an event called Angel Mom, Angel Mom Encounter, where all moms who've lost children um, gather. gather. Um, we are trying to get social workers on board, yeah. counsellors on board, the midwife, mm. who can also maybe tap into sudden infant death that yes, we do not know for the yeah. you know, uh, better sleeping positions, because we've been told that... Um, a lot of times, sudden infant death happens when you make baby sleep chest down. Yes, gamba. Yes. Because sometimes because they they small, they don't know how to how to turn. How to turn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, the first event is happening on the sixth of April in Johannesburg, Stanton at the Mesa Hotel. Um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I honestly believe that. All of us angel moms gathered in one room. Yeah, that's I can be, tell yeah. you now, the mm, pain yeah. is just not going to go away. Yeah. It's not going to go away, yeah. but it's going to get better. That thing of knowing that you're not the only one. Is, to yeah. She's been through what I've been through. Takani yeah. may not have held one for three months, yeah. but she's been yeah. 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 So we speak the same language. language yeah. Yes. Yeah. We speak the same language. Yeah. So Zakan is invited again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, uh, we're actually getting a lot of people that are saying, I lost my husband, can I come? Grief is grief. Mm, grief, grief, is grief. Is grief. Yeah. grief is grief. You know, as you're saying this, lastly, I was, as always, TikTok. <laughs> I was on TikTok and I saw um, a post of this lady talking about we should not sleep with our babies. I don't know if you saw it. I, don't know. I used to do that with my ex um, who would sleep because of I was breastfeeding and never never used to sleep so would sleep with her in the middle mm. so the dad rolled over the baby mm. I think I saw it that story touched me like imagine when you're the wife your husband rolled over to see you your I'm baby, more. Her more. I don't know. And there was a whole debate about Rona as mothers. Why don't we roll over our kids? We have that motherly instinct. It's mm. an accident. It's an accident. He literally rolled over the child. Mm. I was just imagining two things. Mm. Loss and blame. And mm. blame. Which is similar to what we were talking and about. And talking blame on both sides. On both sides. Yeah. Rona Imagine how the husband feels right now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's going to be fine. And I'm so grateful. Like the it's easy to call mothers on the show. Hey guys, go back to work at breastfeeding. Hey guys. But when I I don't know how many times I kinda asked you, if you want to change your mind, please tell me. Because I felt like it's such a sensitive topic, especially because I haven't been through it. And I'm so grateful that you guys agreed to come and open up and share your experiences and journey. And I really pray that um to continue to be strong and with the pain that you guys go through. And I like what we said, Lina Zakan, I'll be more sensitive around you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and because you know what I mean, a lot. And mm-hmm. thank you. And I really I don't wanna lie, this is the first episode I've ever cried ever. Um but I really hope that God will cover you and bless you. And I pray that your event Will go well. Can I also come? Yes. Yeah. Oh, MC. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, Mummy Diaries with Bassi.